my name is Chrissy, and for today's So What, we are going to be making some spooky ghosts. So it's a super easy project. I'm gonna go over the supplies, the instructions, and by the end, you'll have an amazingly spooky decoration to add to your Halloween decor. All right, let's go. So let's start off by going over the supplies you're gonna need. Supplies are cheesecloth, some glue. I'm using Mod Podge and Tacky Glue, but you can use Elmer's. You'll need a plate, some tape, scissors, wire, a balloon, and something to attach your balloon to. I'm using a candlestick holder. So your first step is going to be to blow up your balloon and tape it down to whatever you are using. So this is gonna act as the head of our ghost. Next, you are going to take some wire and attach it to your base for the arms. So you can have this going in whatever direction you would like, I kind of put one arm a little higher than the other, uh, but your creativity can take over. So next you're gonna get your glue. And like I said, I'm using Mod Podge and Tacky Glue, but you can also use Elmer's glue or you could even use liquid starch. So you're going to put that on your plate or your bowl. And then you're just gonna take your cheesecloth and really soak it in there with all of your glue. To make sure that my cheesecloth was super covered, I ended up using a paintbrush and kind of mixing all of the glue in there with the cheesecloth and kind of painting over uh, all the different parts to make sure that it was just really soaked in there. So once you know that your cheesecloth is super soaked in your glue, um, I went ahead and put down some parchment paper just to make sure I didn't make a mess on my tablecloth. But next step is just going to be taking that cheesecloth and kind of untangling it. This might take a little bit of patience, but I promise you it can happen. And then you're just going to lay your cheesecloth over the frame that you have built for your ghost. This can take some maneuvering, but I think it's really fun to kind of sculpt your ghost in however you would like for it to look. It's also okay if different parts of the cheesecloth overlap because our ghost is probably old and probably has some folds in his ghostiness. Is that the equivalent of like ghost wrinkles? Hmm, I don't know. So once I had my ghost in the right form, I actually took a little bit more glue. I think I used a mixture of Elmer's and Mod Podge and took my paintbrush and went ahead and really painted over what I'm calling the head of the ghost. You want this to hold its form because this is how you're going to be attaching your ghost to whatever you want to attach it. And you really just want that nice cylindrical form to stay. So a little bit extra glue always helps. I also took a little bit of starch and sprayed my ghosty down with some starch to make sure that it would really hold its form. This is not mandatory, but it could help. You never know. So once you have your ghost all layered with glue and in the form you want, now comes the part of patience where it's time to let it dry. So I actually set mine outside to dry in the sun. This helped it a little bit. What you can also do is grab a hair dryer and take your ghost to the beauty salon. That will also help the drying process. Once it's all dried, you can take it off of its form and go outside and hang it up. This is what mine looks like at the end. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty proud of it. If you wanted to make your decoration an indoor ghost, you could also put some fairy lights and have a nice little accent light for the Halloween spirit. So I hope you enjoy, and if you do this craft, please take a picture and share it with us on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you, bye.